Welcome to our first video for topic 8. Uh, in this video we are going to understand and find mean, median, and mode. They're our first uh, topics when we talk about statistics. Evidence-wise, we are going to sort a series of numbers. Uh, that's always going to be your first step. We'll talk about why when we actually get to the median mode. But then we're going to calculate the mean. Then, as I said, find the median, find the mode. The hardest of the three is definitely the mean because you actually have to do some math um, rather than just some thinking. So we'll do that first. Learning experience. We have three examples and three you do's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, I know. That's a lot. But two of them two of them aren't too bad. Um, then we'll have our things to remember and suggested practice problems. Really, there's only one suggested practice problem, but you're doing all three of those uh, key ideas for today. So without further ado, let's jump into our first example. All right. So let's begin by looking at this list of numbers. The amount of cholesterol... Sopper gives you all your daily nutrients, like zero grams of trans fat, and oh my god, cholesterol! In 10 different snack foods are listed below. And all of these measurements are going to be in milligrams. Uh, we are going to need to find the mean, median, and mode. But before we do that, we need to do one very, very important thing. It's incredibly helpful if, before trying to find any of these three things, less so with the mean, but definitely with the other two, you start by writing them in order. So we'll go from least to greatest. I see that we have a 1. The next one is a 3. Then we have two fours. So we can cross both those off. Then we've got three fives. So 5, 5, 5, 1, 2, 3. Then we have two sixes. And then lastly is our 8. So this is going to help us find all three of these uh, statistical values that we want to find. Pause the video, write these down, because we're going to use them uh, in a second. Now that we've put these into order, let's actually find the mean. So we have a couple of steps over to the left. Uh, please make sure, as I apparently write on them, please make sure to copy these down. Uh, these are our steps to find the mean. Um, the first thing that we're going to need to do is add them together. So we'll add them all up. We'll go 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 5 is 17, 22, uh, 27, 33, 39, and then lastly, 47. So we have our sum here. Uh, and then we are going to need it to divide it by the number of values we have. We know from our original problem that we have 10 of them. So we are going to divide this by 10. And I'm actually going to write this over here where I have more space. Uh, we're going to end up with 4.7 as our mean. Now, we did that very quickly. It helped that we we're dividing by 10, and as we talked about with percentages and uh, unit conversion, especially with metric stuff, dividing by things that have the things that are a power of 10 are really easy because we just have to move the decimal over. Um, it is a little bit tricky. You do have to make sure that you add things correctly and then divide them, um, but that's it. The mean is really just the average. I'm sure you all have heard of averages before. This is how you calculate the average. Um, why is it called the mean? Because mathematicians are mean. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> that's, that's just what it's called. Anyway, uh, so pause the video, write this down. We're going to do our first you do. Your first you do problem, you have eight students who take a test. Their grades are listed below. Uh, you're going to find the mean of their grades. So remember, the first thing we need to do is actually put them in order then uh, find the mean. So pause the video, take a couple minutes to do this, and then we'll go on to our next example. So our next example, we want to find the medium. This is a lot easier to do um, because 
after we've sorted our list from least to greatest, and this is why it's important to do this, we just have to pick the one that's in the middle. Uh, if there are two values in the middle, then we'll take the mean of the two, and just to show what that looks like, we'll look at what's in the middle. So it's not those two, it's not those two, it's not those two, it's not those two. It's going to be these two. Um, sometimes you'll only have one number if you have an odd number of values. Sometimes you'll have two if it's an even number. In our case, in this one, uh, they're both five. So our me, uh, our median for this problem is just going to be five. And that's it. It's real easy. Um, so again, all we did was we crossed values off to find what was in the middle. And that's our median. If you did come across a situation where maybe in the middle you had 4 and 5, for example, then you'd need to take the mean of the two. So we'd add 4 plus 5, which is 9, divide that by 2, which would be 4.5. Um, just so you know what to do if you come across that scenario. But really, it's not too bad. Pause the video, write anything down that you need to, and then we'll do our second you do. The second you do you're doing, same set of numbers, uh, their grades are still listed there, uh, but this time you're going to find the median of their grades. Same idea though, no difference. The last thing that we want to do is we want to find the mode. The mode is just going to be the value that shows up the most. So we have 1, 1, we have 1, 3, we have 2, 4s, we have 3, 5s, we got two sixes, and we have an eight. Um, so five is what shows up the most. So our mode is five. If you have two values that show up the most, so let's say that we didn't have any of the fives and we had the fours, um, just list them both. We've got modes of four and six. That's fine. But yeah, that's it. It's pretty easy, I hope. Uh, the important thing to do, though, and this is definitely going to help you, put them in order first. That will very, very much help you sort these out. Pause the video if you need to write anything down, and then we'll do our last you do. Our last you do for today, you have eight students who are taking a test. Their grades are listed below. You already know that because you've done the same data set twice already. This time, though, you are finding the mode of their grades. Uh, which value is showing up the most um, take I don't think this will take you longer than 30 seconds to do if you already have it organized um, but pause the video find the mode so things to remember from this video uh, the mean is the average of the set of values you're going to add them all together first then you're going to divide by the number of values you don't actually need to put them in order to find the mean but since most of the time you're going to need to find all three of them, you might as well put them in order to start with. The median is the central value of your data set. Again, make sure to write them all in order first. That is where it actually matters uh, because you need to be able to find what's in the middle. The mode is the value that occurs most often. It's probably the easiest one to find, and if you have them written in order, it should take you very, very little time to figure out. Pause the video, write anything down that you need to. And then we'll look at our suggested practice problem for today. So our suggested practice problems, again, it's kind of just one problem, but you're going to find the median, median, and mode. Um, Mr. H runs 20 minutes for seven days. The distances he runs each day are listed below and all the measurements are going to be in kilometers. Uh, you're going to find the mean, median, and mode for this data set. So pause the video. Remember to put them in order first, and of course, good luck. 